let's look at the shortest distance between skew lines so first let's see what are skew lines now to understand that let's draw two lines so let's say a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 a4 b4 c4 okay now let's move them around so that we have four distinct points for the lines okay let's do this and now let's draw the lines line crossing a and b but a line passing through c and d now if you look at this if you rotate this and you notice that these two lines look as if they are intersecting each other when looked at from one side but as you rotate it you realize that they are actually not intersecting right so which means that uh, lines which are neither parallel nor intersecting see these two lines are not parallel but at the same time they are uh, not intersecting each other now such lines are called skew lines okay and what we have to figure out is the shortest distance between them so shortest distance would be somewhere here right okay so let's see um what do we need we need the um direction cosines okay let's begin with that a1 a2 this is a variable name just so that um, you know i can differentiate i'm using a1 a2 rather than just a single letter is equal to a2 minus a1 b1 b2 is equal to b2 minus b1 c1 c2 is equal to c2 minus c1 okay i got this now what i also require to figure out the direction cosine is square root of a1 a2 square plus b1 b2 square plus c1 c2 square okay and now the direction cosines would be l1 is equal to a1 a2 by d1 m1 is equal to d1 b2 by d1 and n1 is equal to c1 c2 by d1 so i got the direction cosines now similarly we have to do it with respect to the other line so a3 a4 is equal to a4 minus a3 b3 b4 is equal to b4 minus b3 yes and c3 c4 is equal to c4 minus c3 okay now we require d2 is equal to square root of a3 a4 square plus b3 b4 square plus c3 c4 square okay now l2 a3 a4 by d2 m2 is equal to b3 b4 by d2 and uh, m n2 is equal to c3 c4 by d2 so i got the direction cosines of both the lines now what we also require is the um unit vectors 
so i is equal to 1 comma 0 comma 0 j is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 0 k is equal to 0 comma 0 comma 1 okay and now let's uh, figure out the vectors uh, vectors parallel unit vectors parallel to the given lines so u is equal to l1 times i plus m1 times j plus n1 times k right so let's rotate this you see this this is parallel to this line okay what you can do is to figure out it much more clearly we can go to settings color let's change it to let's say green right it's very clearly now visible okay and this is parallel to this okay now let's look at the other unit vector parallel to the other line so l2 i times i plus m2 times j plus n2 times k again now let's change the color of this to let's say red right so this vector is parallel to this and these are basically uh, unit vectors now we want uh, something which is perpendicular to both these two unit vectors right what is that what will give us that that will be given to us by the cross product of these two vectors so let's say a is equal to magnitude of because we are not interested in negatives so cross product of u comma v right and now using the equation that we know uh, we can determine the determinant right and determinant divided by this cross product will give us the shortest distance let's say m3 is equal to and remember how do you specify a matrix using flower brackets so a4 minus a2 comma b4 minus b2 c4 minus c2 this is the first row of the matrix the second row of the matrix would be l1 comma m1 comma n1 and the third row would be l2 comma m2 comma n2 yes now the determinant of this would be what determinant would be this and the shortest distance would be b divided by a and remember we we don't really require the um, negative so we can put it in uh, magnitude of determinant of m3 yes so we have got 2.15 that is the distance this is the shortest distance okay now how do we verify this so let's use um, GeoGebra itself let's ask it to figure out the distance between these two lines and these lines are what f comma g so as per GeoGebra also it is 2.15 and most probably remember internally GeoGebra might be using the same method to calculate the distance as usual you can move these around and you will always and since it is way down let's display text 
short test distance uh, plus is uh, shortest distance is C as for us and as per GeoGebra it is D right okay so now let's see this is being displayed here let's catch hold of that and move it and let's take it to the home position and now let's okay now let's move this around a little bit each one of them see at any given point both the values are same similarly both the values are same you try out all the different combinations okay similarly this also you can move it around got it so that is the shortest distance between two lines in space in three-dimensional space that's it bye